In March, the ABC reported on allegations of team driving and race fixing in harness races dominated by horses from trainer Ben Yol's stable. Along with animal welfare concerns, it led to an investigation by racing integrity expert Ray Murrahy. His interim report has been released today. Uh, this report uh, uh, clearly supports the reforms that we have, the legislation that we are currently consulting on now. The report found there were no rules to prevent racehorse owners sending their animals to the knackery and has called for rehoming regulations to be developed. It is currently cruel that that doesn't exist. The report recommends new rules for the welfare and disposal of horses, saying horse owners must be responsible for the whole life experience of a horse, not just its racing career. Trainers must get permission from Tasmania's chief vet before euthanising a horse, minimum paddock conditions including access to shade and shelter. It also recommends a new rating system for races to improve competition. This is a wake-up call to those who thought there was nothing wrong. This is a wake-up call to the racing industry um, more generally and to TAS Racing in particular. The report found Ben Yol had legally monopolised races, where he regularly had the majority or all of the runners in an event. TAS Racing just needs to change the way that they operate. There have been some small changes in terms of uh, the fields and the way they're nominated in recent times, but it's simply not enough. So far, there have been no findings on allegations of race fixing and team driving. A final report addressing those issues will be released at the end of the year. Mr Yole has described all allegations against him as patently false. Fiona Blackwood, ABC News.